Welcome to this advice video tutorial. In this video, you will learn how to create and edit an alarm configuration and how to handle alarms in the visualization. As a first step, you will create a node in the alarm configuration. Navigate to Server, My Server in the project tree. Right click on Objects and select Add Node, Data Variable, Boolean. Name it Bool1 and confirm your input with OK. Double click the new node Bool1 in the project tree to edit it. Change the value in the corresponding input field to True. Confirm the value change by pressing the Enter key. In order to create an alarm configuration, right click the new node and select Add Alarm Configuration. Enter Configuration1 as name. Confirm with OK and expand the node in the project tree. Open the alarm configuration with a double click. The preset for condition type and source node is correct. To select a corresponding display where you can manage the cause of the alarm, click the button with the three dots on it. Select displays in the first row, then expand the entry displays on my server and select main. Confirm your selection with OK. Every alarm configuration has one or more conditions which trigger the alarm. Name the condition is false. Set value change to false as to active text. According to that, set false as the condition's value. Now you can save the configuration with a click on OK. To visualize the alarm, Open Displays Main. Drag and drop the node Bool1 from the project tree into the display area. This button lets you toggle the value later on. Now select the rectangle tool from the toolbar and draw a rectangle around the button. Change its fill color to none and its stroke color to red in the attribute bar. Right click the rectangle and select Add Simple Dynamic. The type node is the correct preset for the first step event. Click the button with the three dots on it and expand the node as well as the alarm configuration in the dialog. Select the alarm condition is false, which you created earlier. Confirm your selection with OK. At the step action, choose the type visibility and set the following values. For off acknowledged, Set the visibility to Invisible. For On Unacknowledged, select Flash every 500 milliseconds. On Acknowledged, Visible. Off Unacknowledged, Flash every 750 milliseconds. On Off Unacknowledged, Flash every 250 milliseconds. Save the dynamization with a click on OK. Open the visualization from the Advice Builder menu, Guided Actions, Start Web Browser for Server, My Server, HTTP 1. Click on the button to toggle the value change. As you see, not only the dynamized frame reacts to the value change, also the alarm button in the top frame. A corresponding entry has been added to the alarm list as well. To get a more detailed overview of the alarm, click the alarm button. You switch to the Advice default alarm list that shows more detailed information according to all active alarms in the visualization. You have the possibility to apply filters to the list for a better overview of your alarms. You can also export lists to a CSV file. With a click on Accept, the alarm status changes to On Acknowledged. The link in the colon Display directs you to the affected display. Click the link to switch to the display main. Reset the value to the set point with a click on the button. The alarm state changes to off acknowledged. Your project now operates as it should. Well done! You have created an alarm configuration, visualized the alarm state dynamically and handled the situation professionally with the help of the advice alarm list.